So hello everyone, I'm Paul Weber at Utah Valley University and a short overview. I'm going to give you a short overview of work that we've done in developing virtual reality simulations for use in uh, nanotechnology education and training. So our motivations for using nanotechnology are that we have some equipment that comes in only one copy. So it's a question of how do we get students in say a class of 20 students through this piece of equipment efficiently and effectively, um, as efficiently and effectively as possible. And without breaking it, because of course, if we have a breakage, um, then that could really set us back quite a bit. So our VR simulations, which are really pretty good um, high fidelity simulations, allow each student to go in and totally on their own, not as a lab partner, not as part of a class, but totally on their own to explore the equipment and to run through the procedures. So they have a chance to pre-train on these experiments. I want to emphasize these VR simulations do not take the place of the real laboratory. They are pre-training for the laboratory. So design features that we have put into these uh, simulations, they include, of course, the high fidelity. And I've got to give credit to our multi our digital media students because they really poured their hearts into this work and you'll see that it really looks like the real thing. But another thing to um, consider is how do the students know what to do during the course of the experiment. And so they have in simulation tablet guides and um, the equipment you'll see is labeled and where there are control panels that uh, they have to make adjustments on. We have pop-up menus for those. In the end, there is a grading run for the students that reviews all of their steps and includes some um, summary of the mistakes that they made and you can even assign a final grade on, on this. So the simulations that we've produced so far they include a vacuum training and a sputter deposition simulation. I know that Lan Nancy at Normandale Community College will be talking about this just a little bit later. We wanted to have just enough vacuum training so they could run the nanotechnology equipment safely and without destroying anything like a turbo molecular pump. Um, we have an electron microscope, a photolithography simulation, an AFM, a plasma etcher, and at the end, I'll kind of conclude with this something, an idea that we have for potential collaboration with industry. So here's an example of our sputtering system. This is an old unit that our department chair got on eBay about 15 years ago, but um, so it's one of a kind piece of equipment. Here's the real um, chamber here. We can do radio frequency sputtering with this and the real, and here's the virtual simulation over here. Now in the virtual simulation, take a look at the blue on top of there. That's uh, an example of the pad menu that the students have in order to guide them through the steps of the experiment. So here is a example of another simulation, photolithography, to show you what the students see in the goggles and the pop-up menu here for the spin coder shows you, shows the student adjusting the programming for that. We've got a mask aligner with the controls and you can see it being exposed here and developed here. And here's what I was talking about. This is the final review panel of the grade that they got. You can see that they missed a little bit on the developer and they made a mistake in the, in the programming in this particular example. Now, I don't have time to show this all here, but in the high tech presentation, I'll actually run a, a, an abridged version of this so you can actually see the student doing this presentation if you would like. Okay, um, so in close, kind of in closing, um, improving collaboration ties with industries. When our students went to the IM Flash facility up here, it's a 
It's a gigantic wafer fabrication facility that's just 20 miles north of here. They were allowed to take a lot of pictures and the busy beavers that they are, they started to put this together into a kind of VR simulation product that we might propose to IM Flash that they might be able to use in the future. So this is an idea of uh, an, an outreach activity to industry that we want to pursue to show them, look, we might be able to do this and um, it, it, it might help to strengthen the connections with uh, industry. So in conclusion on this, um, the executable modules, they're called builds in the world of VR are available at this website. Also all information about our project. Um, and as, as I said in the high tech presentation, you can see a full um, example of a VR simulation. Um, one last uh, parting shot here, we're going to have a workshop in VR design and development at UVU in May 2021. It's a professional development opportunity that anyone that is interested um, may apply. Part of our grant is to, uh, is to fund this opportunity so that people can travel to Utah and uh, see the work that we've done and uh, learn some of the things that we have learned in the process.